Hello friends, Tony here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download images. I'm going to display the images here and I'm going to add a button. And if we want, we can download that image. All right, now let's uh, just open the or open the VS Code. Here I am in the breeze plate here. Yeah? And I'm going to open this with a VS Code, okay? Uh, good. What I want to do is to go to storage, up, and delete uh, this one. And also I'm going to delete the images. Start from scratch and also I'm going to open the table class, and refresh, and delete everything here. So we don't have any image in, my, in our database, also upload it here. Now let's start and work with the image index class. So here we have the save method and then we have the render method. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to create a computed property. So I'm going to say method and this method we are going to make a computed. So let's say images and what I want here is just to return all the images so let's say return image image model and i'm going to say all not where but all like this and as i told you i want to make this a uh, computed property so let's add computed here and import that from the live wire now if we want we can add uh, let's say, for example, persist of true. Okay. Make it true like this. And save. Now let's go to images. And here, yeah, here we want to display the images. Let's add a div with some classes here. So let's say, I'm going to say greet. Greet calls true. And if is empty and up I'm going to say grid calls three. Okay, and then I'm going to make a for each. So let's say for each and now we can use that uh, computed property we created. Okay, so images, but we have learned how to use computed properties so we can access in the blade by using dot assign this object. Okay, and then uh, say images as image or what you can what you like but I'm going to say as image okay so here I added a div with some classes and you can see or you can go and find in the github repository and in the image class h36 with 36 around the large and source it's going to be the image path alt I added the image name but you can add what you like and I use here the primary button and say download. Okay, now let's see. Let's open the Chrome and I'm going to upload two images just to see here. So let's upload these two. Say upload. And as we can see, it's not updating the list immediately because we say uh, persist the true okay so let's refresh and yeah now we have the images right here but uh, let me also open the vs code and here we need to run the npm around the because as we can see we don't see that in the grid so if i refresh now we have grid here uh, yeah we don't we need to add uh, a gap here so let's say gap to be 4 and yeah now we have a gap between good as I told you when I want to download I want to click here and download the image but right now nothing is going to happen so let's start and work with this in the image index I'm going to create a method so let's say method and I'm going to name it a download and in this one, we need to receive the ID of the image. And here I'm going to say dollar sign image to be equal with image. And I'm going to say 
not image index, but image model, and say find dollar sign ID. And after we find the image, we want the download. Now uh, we can use the storage facade for this. So let's say return and say storage. We need to import that. We need to specify the disk in which disk is going to be. In the public, we have stored them. So if I open the storage app, we have public and then we have images. So in the public disk, I want to download the image. And here we say the assign image. But like this, or we can say, let's say right now just dollar sign image path and let's save good now let's open the image index blade and what we want to do here is when we click uh, to this button i want to download that image but to download that we need also to pass up the id okay because here we see the id and based on that we find the image and we added the path so in this button now let's add the wire click and say download the name of the method and as i told you we need to add the id so let's say image id like this if i save now and let's try let's go here and refresh let's say download and as you can see is downloaded good let's come here and let's go to index we can we can specify also the image name so if you don't like to be that one we can say image for example image.png and if i save and come here and refresh because as i told you here is the image name which is the hash name if i say now download so you can see we have here image png here and if i open yeah here is the image okay but uh, if you don't like this way to use the storage facade we can use, let's say here, return. Okay, return, response. And add the download. And also in here we need to specify the path and the image name. So if I leave it like this, it's not going to work, but we need to say a storage path. Okay, and specify the path, which is uh, app slash public slash and we need to concatenate the image path so the last line image path like this okay so here we specify the path of the image and we added also the name the same we have done here let's save and let's see in the browser now if I refresh we have uh, two downloads here let's download this one click and yeah we have image one png as you can see okay now what if i uh, upload one more image so let's upload the uh, laravel open say upload the image is uploaded but it's not showing here immediately we need to refresh and then send the show and that's it because we have added in the computed property we added persisted true what we can do is when we upload the image i want to reset that uh, computed property so uh, we can unset use the unset and say to assign these images like this and now if i save and let's upload one more time, for example, the uh, live wire, or let's upload live wire and Vue.js again. Open, it's going to show, and then if I click upload, immediately show in here. Okay, friends, also we can uh, download here as well. So click download, and here we have here download, and you can change also the 
name here if you like. Okay friends, so that's it all about uh, this video. Now if you like such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in another one. All the best.